I'm the proud father of 13-year-old twin sons, Luke and Jack, and an 11-year-old daughter, Lila. And all three of my children play youth basketball. All three of my children have told me that they have the goal of playing college basketball. They've told me this on numerous occasions, and this isn't something that, that I've kind of, you know, led the witness and told them that they need to pursue. It's something that they said they want to do. And I told them that was a fantastic goal and something that I absolutely wanted to support, encourage, and push them to achieve. Now, I've asked for their permission for me to hold them accountable to doing what it takes to play college basketball. And I told them that it was my opinion that each of them liked the game of basketball, but they didn't love the game of basketball. Each of them enjoys playing. They like going to their practices and playing with friends and shooting around in the backyard, but they don't love the game to the point that it requires the almost obsession and commitment to what it takes to play college basketball. And you know, what I, what I explained to them was, in order to achieve something like playing college basketball, you need to work on your game every single day. You have to work on your skills, shooting, passing, rebounding, defending, handling the ball. You have to work on your fitness level and your strength and your agility and your explosiveness. You need to prioritize your sleep and, and how well you eat and hydrate. That if your goal is to play college basketball, something that only 1% of all players will ever achieve, then you need to do the types of things that 99% of players aren't willing to do. And I had to have a very difficult discussion with my children and look them in the eye and with all of the love in my heart, tell them that what you're currently doing is not good enough to play college basketball. That if each of you is serious about that goal, you have to make a deeper and stronger commitment to the game. I say that because I'm trying to hold up the mirror that you understand that the commitment you are currently making is not going to be good enough to play college basketball. They either need to change the goal of playing college basketball and say, I no longer want to play at that level. I just want to play the game because it's fun. I enjoy being with my friends. I love practices. I love games. I love all of the things that basketball affords me, but I'm okay with not playing in college. And as their father, I am totally fine with that. I love my kids unconditionally, no matter what they choose, and I just want them to be happy. However, if they choose that college basketball is still their North Star and is still their goal, then they're gonna need to flip the switch and they're going to need to deepen their commitment. They're going to need to start working on their craft and working on their game every single day. They're going to need to have the discipline to wake up in the morning and make 100 or 200 jump shots before school and then do the same thing after school. And this doesn't even count their practices and their games with their teams. They're going to need to work on their game relentlessly during the unseen hours over the next several years if they still have the goal of playing college basketball. And this was thankfully a, a very open and honest and, and emotional conversation with us. It was a, a very proud moment of mine as their father, but it was just really important that my kids understand that I don't want them to straddle in between. I don't want them to say they have the goal of playing college basketball unless their habits and their discipline and their commitment is going to match that. But I made sure to reiterate over and over that it is okay for your goals to change. There is nothing wrong with saying that you don't want to play college basketball. You just want to play the game for fun, as a hobby, because you enjoy it. Either way, I'll be very proud of them. I will encourage them, I will support them, and I will cheer for them. But I just need to make sure that their behaviors and their dreams are in alignment.